Hey folks, Jim Thomas here, fitness management and consulting, and welcome to the channel today. It's great to have you, and uh, welcome back to all of our subscribers. I appreciate you being here, and if you're new to the channel, if you're finding us for that very first time, uh, welcome as well, and uh, please hit the subscribe button, please hit that like button, consider becoming a member, and to learn more about me, learn more about my company in numerous ways that we can help take your business to that next level, you know, please check out, you know, the many links below. Now, with that said, let's get into our topic here today, and it's five ways to add value for your gym members and for your gym prospects. Five ways to add value, okay? One of the things we always want to be mindful of, when value exceeds price, people will buy. When value exceeds price, in the member's case, they'll keep paying, okay? But value must always exceed the price. We're always looking for ways, how do we add value, okay? I wanna give you five things to think about. Number one, you know, read up, you know, stay up to date on what's going on in the industry and trends that are important to buyers. You know, read up on this stuff, you know, stay, stay aware of it. You know, one of the things you can do, go to uh, uh, Google Alerts. If you're not using it, you have to have a, a Gmail account, just log in on Gmail, but google.com forward slash alerts. And it's like a pre-programmed Google search if you're not using it, it's pretty simple. And industry trends, you know, fitness industry trends, buying trends in the fitness industry. This is a great way to stay up to date on what's happening. Okay, because the more you know, the more you can communicate to your customers, hey, here's what's going on, here's what's happening. That's a high level of value and using something like Google Alerts is uh, an easy way to do that, okay? Number two, try to directly experience your customer's pain, okay? Your members, your prospects. You know, try to experience their pain. Now, we can't do that all the time, but here, here's a few things I would suggest, okay? Work out in your gym work out, know what it feels like, how good it feels, or even sometimes the discipline it takes on days you're not totally motivated, okay, or how good it feels when you get the results, but try to directly experience what your member has. You know, do you have stories? Do you have an, a great success story of maybe how you lost weight and how you kept it off? It's a great story that a lot of people would love to hear, okay? If you don't have those stories, talk to people that do. Get testimonials. Okay, because well, one of the things we want to be able to do, okay, in terms of, you know, kind of the, the sales process and adding value, part of that is having empathy and really understanding where that customer is coming from. You know, so have testimonials, uh, have different stories to tell, experience of, as much of it as you can. You may have, and you probably do have more experiences that you can relate to your customers than maybe sometimes we would recognize, but try to directly relate because, and we're all the same in that regard, okay? It's we're not always motivated. Sometimes it takes discipline. How have you overcome that? How have you overcome How have you struggled, failed at it, and then overcome it? These are great stories uh, that you can share with your customers. Add value to it. Add value. You, what we want to do, we want to, it's, it's kind of that good faith effort, I call it. We want to give the customer more than they ever expected. Give them more than they ever expected. Uh, number three, ask open-ended questions. So when you're communicating with your customers, ask questions that cause them to, that, that put them in a situation to talk about this. You know, talk about what they're doing, talk about how it's working. Because one of the things that, that makes it easier to do some of this, if we can find out as much about the customer as we can, the easier it becomes now to address the issue of value, I think. Okay, so ask open-ended open -ended questions. Uh, number four, become, a, become a, an expert, okay? Become an expert on the industry, on your company, on sales, on management, uh, on fitness, okay? And I don't mean you have to go out and get a, a, a kinesiology degree, but you'll have a good understanding of this. Always make it something you're learning something new every day. You can use this channel for that. Okay, you can use this channel on how to communicate, you know, many things, you know, with your customer. Use Google Alerts. That's a great way to get new, fresh information uh, coming in every day. Okay, so become a subject matter expert on what you're doing. Okay, we're not just going to sign them up and move on to the next one. You know, we want to stay involved with our customer because there's so much more 
you know, not only from a revenue standpoint, but then also from a service element to help our customers, you know, get the results they're looking for. Uh, number five uh, on my list of five ways to add value to your gym members and or prospects is, you know, research, you know, research and personalize every call. Every call that we make, we're calling, we're talking about referrals, we're talking about something else, we're talking, we're nurturing, we're trying to move them through the sales process. You know, do some research and personalize every call. I mean, I like every call that I make. We're going to talk about at some level what their goals are, why those goals are important. Now, I'm looking for, you know, buying signals. If the customer starts giving me some buying signals, well, hey, are, are classes extra? Do I have to to book ahead to take the class. Those are buying signals. You know, I might say something like, well, Mary, it sounds like you and I should get together and chat. You know, I've got a time open at 1130, another at 1215. Which of those might work best for you? I might do something like that. Okay, they're not giving me the buying signal. I may not. Okay, but personalize every call. It's about helping them get the results they're looking for. Don't just go to price. Okay, you know, personalize the call. What are their goals? Why are those goals important? Are those still your goals? And then give them some guidance, nurture, maintain interest, maintain desire. So five tips here on how to add value to your gym members and to your gym prospects. If you're not doing some of this, start working some of this in. Okay, start in, uh, you know, putting us into how we do things. None of this costs us anything. This is just all we have. This is all about how we choose to think. It's how we choose to behave and what we're trying to accomplish because we want to add value because when value exceeds price, people are going to buy. Okay, it becomes that simple. Okay, so folks, my name is Jim Thomas. My company is Fitness Management and Consulting. Uh, to learn more about me and my company and the many ways we can help take your gym to that next level, check out those links below. And if you've not yet done so, you know, please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, consider becoming a member, and we look forward to seeing you all in that next video.